A taco, UK also, Spanish, taco, is a traditional Mexican dish consisting of a corn or wheat tortilla folded or rolled around a filling. A taco can be made with a variety of fillings, including beef, pork, chicken, seafood, vegetables, and cheese, allowing great versatility and variety. Tacos are generally eaten without utensils, often garnished with salsa, chili pepper, avocado, guacamole, cilantro, coriander, tomatoes, onions, and lettuce. Etymology The origins of the taco are not precisely known, and etymologies for the culinary usage of the word are generally theoretical. According to the Real Academia Española, publisher of Diccionario de la Lengua Española, the word taco describes a typical Mexican dish of a maize tortilla folded around food. This meaning of the Spanish word, taco, is a Mexican innovation, but in other dialects. Taco is used to mean wedge, wad, plug, billiard cue, blowpipe, ramrod, short, stocky person, or short, thick piece of wood. In this non culinary usage, the word taco has cognates in other European languages, including the French word tache and the English word tack nail. According to one etymological theory, the culinary meaning of taco derives from its plug. Meaning is employed among Mexican silver miners, who used explosive charges in plug form consisting of a paper wrapper and gunpowder filling. Indigenous origins for the culinary word, taco, are also proposed. One possibility is that the word derives from the Nahuatl word, talaco, meaning half, or in the middle, in the sense that food would be placed in the middle of a tortilla. Furthermore, dishes analogous to the taco were known to have existed in pre Columbian society. For example, the Nahuatl word, talaxcali, a type of corn tortilla. History The taco predates the arrival of the Spanish in Mexico. There is anthropological evidence that the indigenous people living in the lake region of the Valley of Mexico traditionally ate tacos filled with small fish. Writing at the time of the Spanish conquistadors, Bernal Díaz del Castillo documented the first taco feast enjoyed by Europeans, a meal which Hernán Cortés arranged for his captains in Coyacán. <laughs> Traditional tacos There are many traditional varieties of tacos. Tacos al pastor, de atabata, shepherd style, are made of thin pork steaks seasoned with adobo seasoning, then skewered and overlapped on one another on a vertical rotisserie cooked in flame broiled as it spins. Tacos de asador, spit, or grill, tacos may be composed of any of the following, carne asada tacos, tacos de tripita, tripe tacos grilled until crisp, and, chorizo asado traditional Spanish-style sausage. Each type is served on two overlapped small tortillas and sometimes garnished with guacamole, salsa, onions, and cilantro coriander. Also, prepared on the grill is a sandwich taco called melita, little mule, made with meat served between two tortillas and garnished with Oaxaca-style cheese. Melita is used to describe these types of sandwich tacos in the northern states of Mexico while they are known as gringa in the Mexican south and are prepared using wheat flour tortillas. Tacos may also be served with salsa. Tacos de cabeza, head tacos, in which there is a flat punctured metal plate from which steam emerges to cook the head of the cow. These include, cabeza, a serving of the muscles of the head, sesos, brains, lengua, tongue, cachete cheeks, trompa, lips, and, ojo, eye. Tortillas for these tacos are warmed on the same steaming plate for a different consistency. These tacos are typically served in pairs, and also include salsa, onion, and cilantro coriander with occasional use of guacamole. Tacos de camarones, shrimp tacos, also originated in Baja California in Mexico. Grilled or fried shrimp are used, usually with the same accompaniments as fish tacos, lettuce or cabbage, pico de gallo, avocado and a sour cream or citrus, mayonnaise sauce, all placed on top of a corn or flour tortilla. Tacos de caso literally, bucket tacos, 
for which a metal bowl filled with lard is typically used as a deep fryer. Meats for these types of tacos typically include tripa, tripe, usually from a pig instead of a cow, suadero, tender beef cuts, carnitas and butch, literally crop, as in bird's crop. Here, it is fried pig's esophagus. Tacos de lengua, beef tongue tacos, which are cooked in water with onions, garlic, and bay leaves for several hours until tender and soft, then sliced and sautéed in a small amount of oil. It is said that unless a taqueria offers tacos de lengua, it is not a real taqueria. Tacos de pescado, fish tacos, originated in Baja California in Mexico, where they consist of grilled or fried fish, lettuce or cabbage, pico de gallo, and a sour cream or citrus mayonnaise sauce, all placed on top of a corn or flour tortilla. In the United States, they were first popularized by the Rubio's fast food chain, and remain most popular in California, Colorado, and Washington. In California, they are often found at street vendors, and a regional variation is to serve them with cabbage and coleslaw dressing on top. Tacos Dorados fried tacos, literally, golden tacos, called flautas, flute because of the shape, or taquitos, for which the tortillas are filled with pre-cooked shredded chicken, beef or barbacoa, rolled into an elongated cylinder and deep-fried until crisp. They are sometimes cooked in a microwave oven or broiled. Tacos sudados, sweaty tacos, are made by filling soft tortillas with a spicy meat mixture, then placing them in a basket covered with cloth. The covering keeps the tacos warm and traps steam. Sweat which softens them, as an accompaniment to tacos. Many taco stands will serve whole or sliced red radishes, lime slices, salt, pickled or grilled chilies, hot peppers, and occasionally cucumber slices, or grilled cambrai onions. Non-traditional variations Hard shell tacos Beginning from the early part of the 20th century, various types of tacos have become popular in the United States and Canada. An early appearance of a description of the taco in the United States in English was in a 1914 cookbook, California Mexican Spanish Cookbook, by Bertha Hafner Ginger. The most common type of taco in the U.S. is the hard shell, U-shaped version, first described in a cookbook, The Good Life, New Mexican Food, authored by Fabiola Cabeza de Baca Gilbert and published in Santa Fe, New Mexico, in 1949. These types are sold by restaurants and by fast food chains, while kits are readily available in most supermarkets. Even non-Mexican-oriented fast food restaurants have sold tacos. Mass production of this type of taco was encouraged by the invention of devices to hold the tortillas in the U-shape as they were deep-fried. A patent for such a device was issued to New York restaurateur Juvencio Maldonado in 1950, based on his patent filing of 1947 U.S. Patent No. 2506305. Such tacos are crisp fried corn tortillas filled with seasoned ground beef, cheese, lettuce, and sometimes tomato, onion, salsa, sour cream, and avocado or guacamole. <laughs> Soft shell tacos Traditionally, soft-shelled tacos referred to corn tortillas that were cooked to a softer state than a hard taco, usually by grilling or steaming. More recently, the term has come to include flour tortilla-based tacos mostly from large manufacturers and restaurant chains. In this context, soft tacos are tacos made with wheat flour tortillas and filled with the same ingredients as a hard taco. <laughs> <laughs> Breakfast taco The breakfast taco, found in Tex-Mex cuisine, is a soft corn or flour tortilla filled with meat, eggs, or cheese, and can also contain other ingredients. Some have claimed that Austin, Texas is the home of the breakfast taco. However, food writer and OC Weekly editor Gustavo Arellano responded that such a statement reflects a common trend of whitewashed. Foodways reporting, noting that predominantly Hispanic San Antonio, Texas, never had to brag about its breakfast taco love. Folks there just call it breakfast. Indian taco 
Indian tacos, or Navajo tacos, are made using frybread instead of tortillas. They are commonly eaten at pow-wows, festivals, and other gatherings by and for indigenous people in the United States and Canada. <laughs> Puffy tacos, taco kits, and tacadillas Since at least 1978, a variation called the Puffy Taco has been popular. Henry's Puffy Tacos, opened by Henry Lopez in San Antonio, Texas, claims to have invented the variation, in which uncooked corn tortillas flattened balls of masa dough are quickly fried in hot oil until they expand and become puffy. Fillings are similar to hard shell versions. Restaurants offering this style of taco have since appeared in other Texas cities, as well as in California, where Henry's brother, Arturo Lopez, opened Arturo's Puffy Taco in Whittier, not long after Henry's open. Henry's continues to thrive, managed by the family's second generation. Kits are available at grocery and convenience stores and usually consist of taco shells, corn tortillas already fried in a U shape, seasoning mix, and taco sauce. Commercial vendors for the home market also market soft taco kits with tortillas instead of taco shells. The tacadilla contains melted cheese in between the two folded tortillas, thus resembling a quesadilla. In popular culture In the United States, the National Taco Day is celebrated annually on October 4. See also